Yay! Here we are. Hello, David. Welcome along. Hey, Eric. How's everybody doing? Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. That's a good start. I like that. That's a great... <laughs> I know. That's a good omen. Anything that makes me look better and professional, I like. We'll keep that in. <laughs> but I might put that on the list. First sentence flubbed. <laughs> How's your weekend? <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good. I've, I've been like really busy on like a number of things. Nice. Um... Yeah, I've had a uh, oh the, the fun thing was um uh I, yeah I think we've shared it publicly and everybody here probably has already seen but uh, the, the Death's Head print limited edition I did that was that's been quite good fun. Yes, if, it's like sending uh, that off to people. If you're not sure what David is talking about, check out his Instagram uh, because he's got some beautiful prints. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go. Huh? Wow, David, wow. Uh, hang on, there just, we go. Just happened to have one. I just happen to have one there. Nice. It, very... Yeah, it's now on sale. <laughs> I, I mean, we became friends a long time ago when I saw your style on Twitter. I think we talked about that. We were friends on Twitter plenty of times. But you have a certain style, and it is so nice, and it's so recognisable. Uh, oh, thank you. I ain't got nothing to say. I've had a busy week. I've been oh, taking okay. some photos and whatnot of motorbikes, as I do, as is my want. Uh, I quite enjoyed that day, the, this week. I am... Um, I got to photograph a few bikes I've never photographed before, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Uh, I might make them public one day. <laughs> I'm so busy with other things, <laughs> I forget to, to tell people, oh, look, I've been busy. Right. I think we should uh, should move on, don't you? Yes, let's do it. I, I do have something oh. to talk about. I do. Oh, what, what, um, so I'm excited. My, my, no, don't get excited. My my neighbour, uh, <laughs> Michelle, she uh, she said, you realise that people from outside the UK might not know what you mean when you do this, when you say, what's what, everybody? They might not know. So uh, she said, hey, Eric, so what's what, everybody? What's what? So that's <laughs> that's me now. I'm done. I've got props. What's <laughs> what? Job, what's what, everybody? So uh, there you go. Prop. You're not the only one. There we got go. Things to hand. Right, let's do this proper. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so... This week's special guest is no stranger to entrepreneurship and fandom, although you may know her from her work as a community manager at Adobe Express, where the latest beta version has, I suspect, kept her incredibly busy. She's a truly creative entrepreneur with over 10 years of experience, experience founding, growing and maintaining three startup companies. Her journey started in 2011 when she founded a pop culture inspired lifestyle and clothing brand that has since become a leader in geek fashion, capturing the hearts of fans everywhere. But a passion for pop culture didn't stop there. In 2018, she co-founded The Sartorial Geek, a platform that celebrates inclusivity and fandom and brings people together. She's created a thriving community of fans through publishing, podcasting, and online events. Today, we're thrilled to have her share her experiences and insights. So, without further ado, let's see what's what with this week's special guest. It's Jonathan Ayali. Hi, that was the best intro ever. You need to intro me every time I do anything. Thank you very much you're, for that. You're very welcome. I'll email it to you. You go, right, read this. Thank you. Read this out. Yeah, um, thank you're, you. You are a busy lady, for sure. Yeah, sure I am. So sure what, am. what takes up most of your time now? Well, the interesting thing, my job at Adobe started two years ago, and that's my first like grown up job ever. And uh, people have told me that having a full time job makes you very busy. And now I understand they're right. Uh, yeah, working full time, <laughs> really. That's that keeps me busy. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. Yeah. But so how do you get time to run your own business and you be a community manager? I am working towards finding a way to balance it better, but really it's just, <laughs> I work a whole lot. Yeah. I mean, the thing that's really lovely is for me, lots of times, like the community part doesn't really feel like work. I mean, it, it, it absolutely is, but it's my favorite thing. It's what I'm doing anyway. Mm -hmm. So like, you mm -hmm. know, when it's hanging out on Instagram or like co replying to YouTube comments or being on Twitter or whatever, like that's what I, that's what I do anyway so nice. it's very nice um 
that my job was something that I love enough that it's, it's my favorite thing to do. Um, but it's also really, truly that the people are so cool. Like if the community wasn't fun to talk to 24 seven, I would not love this job, but thankfully <laughs> like Adobe folks <laughs> and also comics folks are, I think some of the, the greatest people on the planet. So I'm happy to hang out with them all day. Which is great. <laughs> that was that was that was nice. That was very slick, there, yeah. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adobe people and comic <laughs> that, people. That was inclusive. That, that was very yeah. good. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I I carefully curated. I have a wild range of things I do, but it's all very specific. I'm like, you guys are cool. You're cool. I'll hang out with you. <laughs> That's my little group of people I want to talk to. But you you are you are seriously into your like comics it. and and your fandom and stuff like that Bef before the recording. We, I was making sure that everything was working. And I always worry because we have to leave the guests sort of sitting there, twiddling their thumbs while I'm linking things up. Not today. Not no. today. You and David were blah, 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 <laughs> I blah, mean, blah, look blah. These backgrounds. Like, how could we not have things to talk about? Look what you have behind you. All kinds yes, of yeah. treasures everywhere. I like to think that I, our I've now got to the point. I've, I've, I've now got to the point. I change the background every week. Uh, like That's I definitely move the various like, toys around and stuff just because yeah, everybody always notices. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think yeah, that our backgrounds cool. reflect our personalities, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Mine normally does a little more than it does today. I'm traveling right now, but normally I have my Captain Marvel statue and you know my. So, oh, nice. where are you then? I'm in Seattle at the moment because I'm flying down to San Diego Comic Con tomorrow. Um, so I decided to stay West yeah. Coast. I'm normally in Philadelphia, and that flight is much less fun from philadelphia so i decided to stay over here <laughs> that's and you, is it you've just got back from egypt or is that yeah triple yeah adobe which is one of the incredible things they do for employees give us a whole week off like all of us a week off so we it's really lovely it's an actual vacation not like a vacation where you come back to 800 emails like everyone in the u.s is off um, so I went to Egypt and the country of Jordan, which I had never been to, which was like the secret, my favorite part of the trip. It's gorgeous. If anyone ever gets the chance to go, I had no idea how special it is. Um, that's amazing. That's yeah. Good. That's good. I'm glad, I'm glad you get to see uh, the world and especially going to Jordan. You yeah. have to, didn't you, right? I know. Yeah, it was really <laughs> fun. I, I was I, like, I have to go just to go. But then I was like, oh, this is secretly like one of the best places I've ever been. That's really awesome. <laughs> That's, you know, it's amazing that you, you can travel all around the world and you go to Egypt and you go to Jordan and you come back and you go to David. Ah, oh, have you seen the trailer for the new Turtles film? That, you know, that's that's your world right there, right? Yeah. That's what I care about. <laughs> That's what That's I care good. about. That's what it is. <laughs> I know. I all I can talk about is the Barbie movie coming out on Friday. Yeah. Like, That's my favorite thing. I can't wait. We have. Oh man, we have so much stuff. Summer's great if you're a movie nerd. Summers are great. Did do you have? Um, it, is Oppenheimer releasing the same week in the states as well? Mm -hmm. So we have the Barbieheimer situation yes. where yeah. everyone's talking about both back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Are, are you get, are you going to do back to back? And and yeah, if so you were, which would you choose? Which which would go first? The trick is they both come out during Comic Con, so I had to be like, "Cool, am I going to leave the convention to go see a movie?" Oh, which no. in theory is movies are the whole reason we're here. So, um, if it was a weekend at home, what I would do, I'm way more excited for Barbie personally, but I think that's yeah. my guess is that's a better. And, like I want to leave the theater on that I think so yeah, I, I think I would have thing. to do that second yeah. <laughs> yeah not because I like like it less but I think I'd have to <laughs> yeah I, I think that's the nice way around to do, like a palette yeah. cleanser yeah yeah totally I'm I'm <laughs> so excited I can't the marketing for, for Barbie has been <laughs> insane oh, man. yeah Some really amazing stuff uh, truly Barbie house and all kinds of stuff. incredible so do yeah, you my look friend you... actually worked on the concept for that, which is very cool. I just like it's just oh, very fun. Dude. Like it, th this is where I love when worlds collide because I have you know artist friends, which I then get to talk mm. to through Adobe stuff, and then I have nerds, and obviously they do a lot of the same thing. So I was like, this is very cool when like comics <laughs> and art direction and projects all come together. I love it. Me too. Gareth, Sorry, I cut you off. Me... You were going to ask something. Gareth has said. I don't know if I could watch something so heavyweight and depressing and then go and watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I think Barbie's going to be intense. I really do. I think it's going to tug at your heartstrings. I don't know for sure, but 
I feel like it is. I, I think that's half of the anticipation, isn't it? Yeah. Is that we, we don't know don't what to be... expect going in. It's Yeah. But they've already been in yeah. Toy Story, so Barbie and Ken. So, that's you know. true. I um, love Ken and Toy Story. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Yeah, that whole stop cast. Stop okay, everything. Stop Olive, Oliver's this. just said he's mainly excited for the new Futurama. What? Oh, yeah. I heard. I briefly heard about that. I don't know much. Um, oh my. Yeah, but I, I also heard about that. I I just first I've heard of it. It's incredible. Yeah. My yeah. heart's beating. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> Not worried about Barbie. Not worried about Oppenheimer. Give me uh, Futurama. <laughs> give me Futurama. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone has their thing, so that's that's your thing. That's great. <laughs> so, I, I'm, just, I'm just dismissing Oppenheimer. No. No, put it on the pile with Barbie. Yeah, we'll see it someday. <laughs> so let's, let's let's move on from fandom and talk about uh, Adobe Express because that mm-hmm. obviously that's a, that, <laughs> sorry that's a, a big part of of why you're here. Yes. So Adobe Express has a new version which yes. anybody can now go and uh, check out while it's in beta. Yeah, there's no wait list, which is great. Uh, new.adobe.express.com yeah. new.express.adobe.com which I only know because I'm staring at it <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 me too, I've got another screen uh, yeah, I know what that is uh, it's, so it's, it's sort of a question that I posed to Rufus um, and we got kind of a, a take on that but why do you think it's taken so long to have something like this in the in the sphere in it you mean in adobe yeah because i mean things like this have been around for a while and have what i thought had cornered the market yeah my guess and rufus knows i mean he's been adobe way longer than me is way more of like the company expert than me my my personal guess is that adobe has been sort of known as like the professional tool like it is like when you're a professional artist whatever that is video illustrating graphics that's for you um, and it's, it's been very interesting working on it because when I started only two years ago, it was like, this is not for professionals. This is for, which I'm not a professional. I like, I'm learning on the job. I asked my coworkers, <laughs> I made one thing in illustrator this week, which was my first <laughs> illustrator. So I am like not a pro. <laughs> um, and I, when I first started, it was like, well, this is for, you know, a new audience. This is for people who don't who look at Photoshop and they're like, this is so many buttons. This is so overwhelming. I just want to like make one thing. I don't want to have to go to college to know what I'm doing. Um, But the thing that's been very interesting is it's actually, instead of being like, these are the professional tools for professionals. These are the non-professional tools for, you know, people who are just starting. It's actually become more of like, this is when you want to do something fast. So even even folks who do have, you know, can can do anything um, in Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever, if they just want to make something fast, like you can make an Instagram graphic in Photoshop. It might take you four hours because you have to source everything, pull it all together, start from scratch. Like, you know, you can do that all in one place. So I think, um, I think part of the reason it's taken a while is just because that wasn't like necessarily the audience. And I think we're realizing like, it, it could be though. So like, you know, folks who have used other Adobe products, I think can use it too. But also if you've never opened anything like me, I opened Illustrator and I was like, oh man, I don't know what these buttons do. And they're <laughs> different than Photoshop. And I don't know what workspace is set up. And I don't remember how to set up an artboard. Like just all that stuff is, it is easy. <laughs> in Adobe that's Express, exactly my experience. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's, yeah. That's very you true hit well. new so, and that's it. So I would, I'll often uh, go into After Effects and stuff like that, and I certainly don't know my, you know, my full way around After Effects. But when it came I to mean, putting stuff together for something. this very live stream, yeah. I thought oh, I'll do something on, on After Effects. But actually, I didn't. I hope you could tell that there were some animations there yeah. that were from Adobe yeah, yeah. Express, and that's not yeah. you know trying to suck up to you, Jordan. It was that's been like it from day one. It's like that. That's. We don't need it pretty fancy. Yeah. We're, we're, you know, let's let's get out of there. We are looking at getting more fancy graphics. But, you know, by the by, for, for me, it was bam, 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 bam. You know, more interested in doing the live stream than I am prettying it up, as it were. 
Yeah. Well, I think that's a great point too, because one of the things that I talk about a lot when I talk to like small business owners or entrepreneurs, like one of the questions, which is actually the first thing you ask is like, how do you do so much? Part of the way I do so much is I just do it. Like instead of waiting to start a video series like this until you have perfected After Effects or have raised enough money to hire an animator, like just start with what you have and you can always, you can always build. But like, as you probably know, as you work on a project, what you end up wanting tends to change a little bit mm -hmm. too. So like if you had built out, you know, a whole graphic series before you started, like what if you want to change a couple of things yeah. or what if the mm -hmm. colors aren't quite fitting the energy, you know, whatever things you learn as you do a project. So I think one, I think that's just a great way to do projects is like put whatever you're comfortable with out there when you have it and you can always get better and you can always improve. Um, yeah. if it's something you even want to do, cause sometimes you start a project and five episodes in, you're like, mm, no, thanks. <laughs> you, That'll you know, be next week. That'll be next week. Right, right. Right. I should say, yeah, we had that awkward five episodes. I know it doesn't happen to you now, but, or <laughs> even you want to pivot, you know, like sometimes I'm like, this is my social media plan and I'm going to post three times a day. And these are all my things. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to post three times a week, actually. And I'm going to stop, you know, doing all of this yeah. extra stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's great. And I think. I think one of the things I'm very excited about with the beta version of Adobe Express is it really leveled up some of the things that I think make it um, more appealing to use even by creative professionals. Because like the animation, I think is one of the strongest upgrades in the beta. Like we had animations before and they weren't very customizable and um, it was a little sporadic, I guess. And now it's like, I've seen a lot of our ambassadors and influencers actually who you know they'll do a really cool illustration and they're like i just want the flowers in the background to kind of spin mm. and i don't want to learn a whole new product yeah. to figure out how to deconstruct this you can just pop it in and like yep. spin the layers and Kirsty's and that's come great. up with a, a great point she, she said uh, it's funny because i wasn't sure to begin with about adobe express and now it is in my workflow and i can yeah. sort of come along with that i think for me when adobe express was first around i was like yes but i know photoshop yeah, right. right I don't need it. But I need yeah. it. I know Photoshop. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes. I can I, do it in the hard yeah. thing. Why would I do the easy thing? <laughs> yeah. But I was a I, I I have been a Photoshop snob for quite some time, I openly admit it. It's so, not just you, so <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have admitted it if I thought it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I I luckily I was on the beta stuff before mm -hmm. it went public yeah yeah um and I, I i really enjoyed seeing how it grew a part of my background is that i uh i assess uh, apprentices that are doing marketing and so many of them have been using canva and and you yeah. know I said, well, why don't you use spark or why don't you use it no because i can do it so quickly here and mm -hmm. for for an age of thinking you know why don't you just come on adobe get it together um so Wait, it's nice listen. to see. But yes. with, the, with the generative <laughs> yes. AI and the animations in it, I think uh, mm -hmm. it's it's going to certainly lead the way, if not now, very soon. Yeah, that was one snobbish. of the tricks. No, I know. That was one of the tricks, I think, is that um, it really needed to have a lot of the features that it has now to be something that pro designers yeah. would really want to use. And I think I think it's there. I think this is the version that's there. Taking and there are add-ons too. Sorry, I keep cutting no, you off. I'm sorry. No, you carry on. You've no, got more fine. interesting things to say than I have. Well, so that's just a cool thing that's never happened in. Um, I mean, that wasn't the case of in Spark or the older version of Adobe Express. There are add-ons, so now you can like they're brand new in the beta, but you can customize because as the person who is the community manager, like I get a lot of requests which is very yeah. cool. And some of the requests are like, yes, everyone would want and need this great idea. And some of the requests are like, that makes a lot of sense for a very specific thing. And I don't think like, it's the eternal balance of keeping it simple enough to be this easy while also having what everyone needs. And so some of the things are like, oh, that's a little too specific. I think like we want, you know, the workspace to be really simple, but now there are add-ons um, and that's growing. So now you can kind of customize it to what you need. So if animations are like the main thing you're doing, you can play with that. Or like if, you know, color coloring projects, you could like can add different palette add-ons. Like you can just kind of make the product be more what you want. Or if you're only doing AI, you can play with that. Um, so you can build 
Like in, is, you know, the other products these, you can build, but. These mm. add-ons, Jordan, is this something that yeah. you can show us? I can. I have only started playing with them yesterday, so no promises, but I'm happy to, <laughs> I'm happy to show you where they are, and I can show you the two that I added okay. yesterday, and we'll see. Uh, okay, do I hit share screen? There yeah, we go. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, okay. the first, first thing I do is always look at people's taskbar. Go, oh, what are you, what are you using? Oh, Spotify. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, I'm glad we're doing this today instead of yesterday because I had about 72 different things open down here <laughs> yesterday and they're all, it's all Chrome. With and I, I wonder how many people tabs. in our yeah. community are now stressing because you have an unread email. Well, that happened since I got live. So sorry, guys. I'm not checking my email while I'm talking to you. But <laughs> I, 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 I scheduled started. mine to check it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually the thing that's funny is i i get um because before the beta started the adobe express forums weren't like popping every day so i get email mm. notifications when someone posts in the forum and now that the beta happens i get like 300 emails a day so i need to turn that off i just haven't figured out Oof. how to yet <laughs> so it's probably yeah, yeah that's forum notifications. yeah <laughs> yeah uh, they go into a separate folder thankfully but okay should I do a little baby rundown of the homepage for people who haven't seen it yet, or is that boring? No, do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah so, go. We'll soon tell you if you're being boring. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, tell me if I'm saying something that <laughs> you've already heard from another <laughs> guest. Um, but like we said, this is the beta version of Adobe Express. So if you go to like the old version, there will be a little bar at the top that asks you if you want to come over here or you can sign here. If you already have Creative Cloud, you um, or like the all apps, you have the premium version of Adobe Express for free already. But you can also play with the free version if you pay for nothing. And that you can still do everything except there are some premium like templates and fonts and Adobe stock things. but it's really like, and tell me if it's not, but it really should be very straightforward, which makes showing it off really easy. So like, it's very templated at the top. There are different things you might want to make. So you click into marketing, do you want to make a poster, a flyer, a card? Um, these like more coming soon grayed out spots are because it's still in beta. Um, but yeah, you can like go through a bunch of different social things. You can start from a custom size. This is the very fun. I'm sure you've done Firefly AI things with other guests. We've, we've but... chatted about it. But yes. we, have, we have a guest in a couple of weeks' time that uh, I am going to talk more about AI in general. So stick around for that. Perfect. So this is if you just want to play with it. You can do text to image, which most folks have probably played with. You type in a prompt and it generates an image for you. Um, and you can also like look at some of these pre-generated to get ideas and then just tweak it. We also have these text effects. You can do like disco ball letters or pressed flower letters. Um, quick actions are the things that I genuinely think are maybe the most useful for professional designers who want to just do something in one button. So like you can make a QR code, which is just like a nice thing um, that's just included. Or you can I did not realize that. <laughs> that, that yeah. yeah, that's really helpful. <laughs> that's one of the big ones. Yeah, it's really I, I great. I missed that, yeah. You can just make a QR code in Adobe Express. Uh, it's awesome. We do it all the time. And oh, then, man. Okay, okay, that's great. Yeah. That's <laughs> that, that, thank I, you. Like, this has already been this has already secrets, been secrets, But yeah, I know. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, your stuff will be like your project. So this is stuff I was making yesterday. You can set up a brand, which is nice especially um it then your brand will be available to you in your projects so like mine this is my like adobe community manager brand so it's not very serious my logo is literally just i typed my name out um but these are like the colors i use a lot you can pick fonts from all of these adobe fonts and then you can <laughs> this is how much of a designer i am i literally like, just like scribbled some things in fresco just because i was like you know what whatever i need some sort of graphics but you can also pull in i learned this on a live stream i was doing with andy lambert you can pull in um assets from within adobe express too so like i always use these little stars and you can just pull them yeah. in which is cool 
I believe you can also and draw them in from Adobe libraries as well. So if somebody has yeah, a library. Yeah, yeah. So you can pull them in, yes, from your libraries. And you also have all of your Creative Cloud libraries here too. Might have if you'd like to know more way. about Adobe libraries, go see tipsquirrel.com. That's tipsquirrel.com. <laughs> yeah, you know much more about libraries than I do. <laughs> but yeah, it is great. Like if you build something, you know, in like this is something one of our ambassadors created for us because especially when i do demos i don't have assets that i've made myself like custom assets in illustrator so this is something steph made which is cool so like you know she made all these in illustrator shared it with me well again that's um, the beauty of this isn't it because yeah if you if you are doing the marketing for another brand they can Absolutely. share their assets through libraries or via a usb stick whatever it may be and you can go right thanks i've got those ready to go Yep. Yep. Really and if you want to invite folks, you can just do it right here. Um, there's also this like live collaboration that's new in beta, which is very fun. We could show that off. What was it? Oh, I was showing add ons. Um, I think I have to do it in a project. So let's go. Oh, let's start a new one. What kind of what should we make? What do you guys want to make? Oh, crikey. Don't put us on the spot asking questions. That's our job. OK, I will. <laughs> Making digital collages has been like my favorite thing. I'd like a visual um, collage, okay, please, cool. Jordan. Perfect. So <laughs> yeah, I was thinking digital collage is probably okay, something great. That That's perfect. That, we all want the same thing. I love it. Uh, <laughs> let's do something kind of easy. This one's fun. Oh, and it's animated. Cool. Um, so now this is in a project. So again, it should be pretty easy. Like everything's really labeled what you want it to be. I think if it's not. Feel free to at me at Jordan Danielis and tell me what's confusing and we'll try to fix it. But you can access like, you know, your brands and libraries right over here. So all of the all of the things I just showed in the library, I can then just like click on from here, um, which I'm not going to actually put this chocolate bar in the middle, but I could. And then <laughs> you can change the templates if you want. You can upload your own things and you can also use uh, Firefly generated like AI generated options here. So if I want to, I've been playing with a lot of backgrounds. So if I want to do like okay. red to purple, mm, past, no, not pastel, marble swirl maybe, and see what that looks like. Um, I like, like, I know, I don't, use a lot of generated images in my own hmm. work but this is kind of fun like if i wanted to do something like this that's like a fun background yeah that's um, what i so yeah i think andy taught me that too or maybe katrina taught me that i learn a lot from hmm, our lovely colors <laughs> but yeah now like that's just a super custom thing you could like tweak the colors and you don't have to hope and pray that that's available uh, but there's also adobe stock photos and adobe stock video which is pretty great because i almost never have like b-roll video um yeah yeah all of the stuff i don't know how to make this but you can bring it in and you know if, if we wanted a moving background instead now this is our video backgrounds and we have layers on the side which lots of folks probably already know how to play with um and now we just have a crazy thing that i could not have made <laughs> in another product at all but yeah you know, that, but yeah. yeah it's cool oh, you carry on those yeah i was impressed yeah 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 we have all kinds of other you know little things you can add um but the add-ons is fun so i've only played with a few um i saw this vision board one where like because i like playing with collages and stuff i think it it seems like it just helps give you like different layouts and patterns of things depending on what type of depending on what you want to make um so it's just kind of i'm gonna this is driving me crazy actually we need a clean background for this um <laughs> it's too much but if you just wanted to sort of collage something it like you know has laid this all out for you so you can find it you can find these types of things and elements too but th that was an add-on that i thought was fun um and the other one I added was color designer. So it gives you like gradient options and, and shades um, because we do have regular, like you can just choose a color. Let me add a shape to make this easier. 
So you have all of your colors here. You also have your brand colors here, but then this is very fun too. Like if I, you know, copy this and then I'm like, oh, that's actually a little darker than I want. I have that all right here or, you know, just different things, which are well, those I fun. I, sorry, my eyes are terrible. I couldn't no. see what the tabs were on that other bit. So you above the swatches there, there was a, you know, to the right there. Yep. He, so you got taps there, but the swatches not on the right hand side. Mm -hmm, here. There, yeah. So it's uh, tint it's, shades and color harmony. Yeah. So like we have Beautiful. different tints here. We have different shades here. And then, yeah, this is complementary colors or we could do. I was hoping triad. that's what it was. I'm glad I actually didn't have never clicked this before. So <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> you called it out and I'm glad it did. What well, so, we all thought it would do. Do these <laughs> add-ons cost money? <laughs> I don't believe so. At least, at the very least, in the beta, they don't. I haven't heard. Um, I haven't heard differently. But yeah, you can connect to Dropbox. Like so, all types of different things. Um, I think Paul Trini was talking about this attention insights. So it seems like it'll tell you where people's eyes like go on your project. Right, um, with like a heat map sort of thing. And then if you want to request more, um, this is actually like, I just met with the team working on these and they are extremely interested in knowing what people would like to see more of. And this is a perfect time. Um, I'm sure everyone knows like companies that have, they're at the beginning point asking for feedback and then like things really go that direction. So this is a great time to say what you would like to see before things really get on rails. Like the, the team is very open to building what folks actually want. So this is, um, if there's something that would be useful to you, please feel free to scroll down to the bottom here and request an add on. Um, yeah. And play around with what there is. I imagine more are coming soon. I, I, I didn't realize Dropbox integration. That's fantastic. I was, yeah. Uh, that was, <laughs> I, I saw that. That was actually one thing I was going to request. Well, there you uh, go. Yeah. yeah. And literally, I didn't click on this until yesterday because I just didn't even realize it was sold in. So, like, there's all kinds of cool stuff. This is something you can make patterns. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. um, it seems like a really nice way because, for you know, for example, if someone doesn't really need to go further into colors, they wouldn't have this add-on here but you can you can add the things that really make express what you need it to be which is really cool very helpful and then you, you yeah. just go to that tab to, to get all the different uh, yep different it's ones. just right down here yeah you can turn it all on so i don't know if this will look different like out of beta or as they add more if it will be like filtered in different ways but right now it's just all right here which mm. is great Really nice. What kind of animations do they have now? Because you were saying it's easy oh, to add animations. Yeah. Well, so right now, okay. So there are, I think some things <laughs> this, are. This is now just, just, just damn. I'll yeah. Show you that. So <laughs> it's it already is animated, uh, and we can make this as long or as short as we want. Like lots of people probably have played with videos yeah. before. Um, so for example, if I want to animate this flower the nice thing is you can just click on whatever you want and where you see the other editing options like changing effects or adjusting different things down at the bottom there's animate uh we can also like do things to it too so say we want to change the opacity first it'll still work with the animation so there are three oh, cool. like areas you have you can animate it in it can loop and you can animate it out and you can do just one or all three um and i think so if we want it to like oh, nice. you know grow and then sometimes they they can be really silly but sometimes they're cool you can have it spin but you can also like it can be an energetic spin or i usually keep it on like the soft and smooth options and like not super mm. I like, intense I like the but bungee. you can have it full be beans crazy. Bungee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it in the looping one or is it on the in and out for death bungee there we go spin and then you know you can have it shrink so then when you hit play you can watch it do all that stuff and it'll animate for however long or this is fun too if you hit this show layer timing tab it'll mm. show you the layer timing for each different layer 
So I have to go back here because now it has disappeared. But I could have this whole, you know, that whole thing happen in the first two yeah. seconds and then it'll just disappear. Oops. And then it's gone. So you can that like really cool. pick and choose how things go. Um, so there at the moment are still only, you know, these like nine or 12 um, options, but you really can like, you can, you know, play with the speed and the intensity and stuff. So even though there are hmm. a limited number of animations, you can like the direction, them a little the bit. direction too yeah. will change everything, whether it go, yeah. you, know, you can have the same animation and it comes in and then out. It's the same animation, right. just going in a different direction. It's, I love this. I had no idea I was going to be learning this stuff today. This is really cool. All this proves well, to me, David, is you don't watch my videos. That's all I'm learning here. <laughs> I wish one's own, man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just a, a, little, a little tip for, for those that are And watching. I'm not even good at this. Like, if you really aren't, you know, if you have, if you have a, a talented eye and you, like, people have done some really cool things with animations. I'm just playing. Mm. You can, like, really build some beautiful stuff. It can get a bit fiddly that that timeline, but down the bottom right hand corner there is a a magnifying glass and a, and a fit yeah. button, so you can make it a little bit longer and and it becomes a little bit easier to use. Yeah, I, I have struggled a little bit with 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 that timeline, basically because I'm so used to putting a, the and I can't remember if I'm going to get this right now. Bear with me, sorry, but I put the time head where I want it to be, and then I'll I'll shift the video. And then I find that things get a little bit out of sync. But I think it's just a, a getting used to the whole system after, you know, if you use something like Premiere or something, it, you just got to change your mindset a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting because I recently learned uh, Rush, Premiere Rush, which is funny because that's yep. not new. Um, but it is a different type of timeline. So, yeah, it mm -hmm. is a little bit like, I'm curious if they'll add some sort of like, markers or guides or like a way to line things up mm -hmm. a little bit because i've had that i've had that before too um so i'm curious to see where the future of this goes but again if you're playing with it this is a great time to let us know what you would like to see because i don't know you said you played in the like the pre-beta version like the secret mm -hmm. the secret so i mean you've it's changed a lot yeah yeah absolutely um, absolutely uh, just uh, just to go back a little bit so Premiere Rush, which is what Jordan was talking about, is uh, an app for editing videos on. And it's yes. a really nice, clean, stripped down version of Premiere. I have it up right here. But the, These uh, are look all at that. my YouTube videos. But the, <laughs> the beauty of it is, is that you can then go back to your desk, upload, or sorry, open Premiere, and then go and get your Rush clips and finish off doing it if you wish. It can all be done in Rush, mm -hmm. but you can go back into Premiere and do it there as well. So a nice little app that is is overlooked i think yeah because i don't know i mean using premiere is way too much for me yep um I so yeah so <laughs> i um, yeah it's really i can't do it so rush rush was easy so what i personally do is like that works better for youtube <laughs> for me because i think the, uh, the we the adobe express um I believe something they're working on right now is like uh, better like voiceover and like being able to do like captions and stuff. Like for me right now, I do all of my like longer videos in Premiere Rush and then I do like tiktok -y Instagram reel um, type things in Adobe Express. But I'm curious how the video will update because right. right now there sure. isn't a limit on time on these videos either. I feel like that will not be the case forever. Um, but in the beta, at least, yeah, it's kind of sense, fun. Yeah. You can play you can play with really long videos. And you can add scenes as well there as well, can't you? So um, you could, in fact, again, correct me if I'm wrong here, add another template as the next scene. And so it goes from one into another. Yeah. Another. So you could add a scene and then let's see, Instagram reel. We could add, I mean, this is completely different. Oops. Oops. No. I did that wrong. We just added another page. I think you can. I thought you could. Maybe it's mad at me because it's a different. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all go and play with it. It's fine. Yeah, it looks like you can't actually right now. Can you not? Maybe 
maybe I'm wrong in that you can't add a template. Maybe you could just continue with your own. Yeah, you can just page. add other You can things. copy and paste from one page to another for certain. So you right, can, yeah. yeah. So I could, um, I could like duplicate this mm. and now I have it twice and then I could change this to different stuff. Um, I also, can show. Oh, that's cool. Another little thing that I find really helpful, Jordan, is when you've, you've created a, and I should remember this really, you've created a graphic and then you can duplicate that and then just change the color or something and then you've got two yeah. versions of the same thing and then you can duplicate that and another one and another one another, and you get a whole I'll campaign. show yeah i'll show examples of things i've already made that are like this and are better um so, so i, I shared on on the uh, what's what live instagram yesterday a screenshot of photoshop where i hadn't used smart objects but actually, oh. I could have come into After Effects and gone, you know, this, uh, sorry, into Express and created these all uh, very quickly there and just replaced one image with another. Because you can replace yeah. them very quickly as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is something I, I started from this template. I completely changed it to make this crazy thing. Um, but then I added in to, like, I'll post this probably this week. I added in these little templated spots to make like a real showing of the process. So like yeah. this is a template, this is a template, this is a template, this is what I made off of a template. Um, and then I just pulled them all in. I downloaded these two as their own videos because I wasn't sure with all of these layers if it would uh, want to play with me or not. But um, yes, yeah, so you can just add the different scenes and then I just did a project like what you were saying where um, this has a lot of layers. Here we go. Like I made this. Like I said, I've been really into collages lately. I made this. And then for page two, I just changed like the colors. Yeah. So it's really easy to duplicate it and then just change, you know, the text or swap out the colors or whatever if you want. Very nice. And I, I, I mean, we spent a good, 20, 25 minutes here talking about this, but this is just scratching the surface of what Express can yeah. do. It's a real go-to tool now, even for Photoshop snobs like myself. It's it's well worth a visit, and uh, you know, I, I thank you for coming in and showing us around. Um, I'm My just pleasure. looking at some of the. What's the purpose of pages? Asked David. Why why are pages? Uh, pages in a in a video. Yeah, or in. I'm a, assuming. No, anywhere. So it's essentially uh, your way to do like kind of like different artboards. Um, so for example, this is a presentation. So the different pages, I'm going to download them separately. Um, and then or you can download them uh, all zipped together or download them separately if you just want one. So it's a way to do like campaigns sure. or things. So different pages in a video, I think would be like if you're doing a series of, you know, Instagram reels or TikToks and you just wanted to see them all in one project so you can like copy paste from each other. Um, so I think it's really to see, yeah, like your cohesive project, but each page mm. is its own thing. One of the other questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Jordan. One of the other questions oh, yeah. coming up in the um, chat room from Oliver, I think, was about the color, about the color plugin again. So one of the things yeah. that we've spoken about previously on this live stream is that Adobe Color can give you color blindness tests. So you can put in one color and it tells you uh, what's mm -hmm. the complementary color for uh, color blind people. Was that part of that plugin or that Let's uh, extension? Find out. Let's find out. And if not, that's a great idea for one. Oh, color blindness simulator. It looks like a separate. Uh, separate one separate nice. one um okay that's cool yeah so it looks like you can play with that let me add it and see right yeah to... so it looks like you can click on all the different all the oh, different cool. options and see what it would look like i don't know i am not being colorblind i don't know why i need to see that is that so you can see if it's contrasty enough I th I think yeah so you can see like if someone's fully colorblind what the project would look like to them to see because if you had I'm assuming yeah if you had like uh text 
that um you know was making yeah if you had an unclear mm-hmm. background um this is on white so i think it's probably not a great example but that's one to fiddle around with i think i'm gonna have to investigate that yeah kind yeah of, kind of interesting cool uh right at the very beginning uh sean asked uh, how often you change your hair color <laughs> um usually like once a year sometimes more <laughs> okay good <laughs> There you go, just check that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just been gradually changing mine to grey just over a number of years. <laughs> oh listen, mine mine is too. <laughs> <laughs> and it also it fades. So like I don't change the colors, but it'll then be lighter yellow and orange over the next <laughs> month until I do it again. So <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Uh, so there's a bit of a, a chat going on about the the color blindness. Obviously, got some yeah. people that know about it. Uh, so you can check Great. you're not using two colors that look different to you, but not someone with color blindness. And then uh, David said that red and green buttons are a big problem. There you go. That makes a lot of sense. That yeah, makes a lot of they sense. They are supposed to yeah, look, yeah, I, I, look in, the same. In university, I had a color blind friend, and he would if he was coloring with pencils, he would just hold one up and say, like, "What color is this?" Yeah. And first off, I I thought he was teasing me, and then I realized no, he genuinely couldn't tell them apart. Yeah, yeah, which is great to know. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could. I, mean, we could play with I should it know right more now. about color blindness. I, I kill myself off right now. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. Re- oh, nice! You can reload the preview to see. Whoops. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Wow. So, like, these two colors look completely different. That's interesting. Depending on. That's cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. I learned something Check. new today. Nice. Which is great. <laughs> We're all learning something. We're all yeah. learning. We're all learning. Thank you, Jordan. That was that was really cool. What's your favorite yeah. feature of Express? Your one thing that um, you go. You should do this because. Oh man, my favorite feature I didn't even show is the content scheduler, which I'll show really fast because mm-hmm. it saves yeah, my life. So let's pull something like, oh, I literally posted this in our Facebook group. Um, so you can download your projects like normal, but you can also hit share and then schedule posts. And then you can see, I already have them all linked, but you can choose from any of these or just the ones you want. Um, You can write whatever caption you want. You can just write an emoji if you're live and don't feel like typing something. (laughs) Another thing that I think is really cool is you can preview it so you can see what it'll look like on all the different platforms because sometimes it's different, especially if you have like a collage um, or a carousel. Yeah, you can hit this preview button, which is nice. Can I, uh, um, while you're there in the preview, yeah. can I give you some feedback? Yes. It's something that, if you go into the preview now, yes. I don't know about anybody else, but I have clicked that cross so many times at the top right oh, corner. Me too. And then you okay, lose it all. So I'll have to tell someone about that because I've done the same thing. Yeah, if you click this, it just then you're out. And it's really dumb. Okay, great. We're on the same page. I'll send that. <laughs> there we I'll go. I'll give that feedback. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I've also done that. And that's I the only that's reason why we invited you on, so as I could get that yeah, one through. Yeah. That, that's it. I'm I, done. Yeah, I think that's how it worked in the older version too, which is especially why we're all doing it. Mm. So yeah, great, great call. Um, the schedule. I'm not sure. Oliver, are you being serious when he asks for? Can we have support for Tumblr? I, I mean. I use Tumblr <laughs> still, so I think that'd be great. I don't know. Oh That's I don't my know. error there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have a huge job trying to keep up with every new social media site right now. I know. There's, so there's, there's probably a new one since we've been on. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, threads just happened. That's obviously not on here yet. Um, but yeah, it's nice. You can see I haven't posted much, but you can see, like, this is we're going to be in oops yeah we're gonna be in boston next week so i have my little scheduled post here um you can look at it in a week view too so you can see it a little closer up but yeah that's one of my favorite features love it there's also 
a cool thing in Scheduler, which for um, just in case people, anyone hasn't used it yet, you can just literally click on a, a post you've already made if you just want to repost it again. Um, yeah. So you can like like say you posted something two weeks ago and thought, okay, well that that's now had enough time to come back. You can just like reuse the entire thing just with a couple so of clicks. The thing that's so crazy is that for some reason you can't duplicate in beta, but as soon as it's out of beta, that's coming back. I have no idea why that button disappeared. But yes, it's can you great. schedule? Okay, sure. Can you schedule you can for do multiple it in the days version. when you when you first schedule it? Can you schedule it for multiple days? Like to be on multiple days at once. Yeah, so you schedule it for tomorrow and then six weeks' time. No, but that's another great idea. Oh, I'm full of them. Oh, that's my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, uh, <laughs> I should Andy have a Lambert great idea here. button. He's our, ding, ding, yeah, ding. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's great. <laughs> because, right, sometimes you're like, you want to go in and say like, hey, this is coming in a couple of days. This is coming in, you know. Hmm. You have a new product coming out. You have an episode coming out. You want to post about it a few times. I think that's great. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, fun. It's okay. been suggested that you can copy a scheduled it. post and then reschedule the copy. In the beta? I don't know. In the original version, it's super easy. So I'll show it really fast because I hope this is I hope this is coming back. And actually it, like it's all yeah, synced, this right? Is yeah. But yeah, you can you can duplicate it here, which is cool. And I and it's supposed to be back. So you could also say like you know, for this, I want to say instead of next week, tomorrow, and make this be the day before I leave. Um, nice. And now it's here, so it's the same thing, right? So you can yeah, you can update good. the caption if you have the same graphic, like especially for a show like this, if you have the same graphic and you're like, in three days, in two days, tomorrow, <laughs> whatever you can. <laughs> A a show like this. That, takes, that takes a lot of the pain out of it. Yeah. It's a little extra, but yeah. Explain you yourself, Jordan. A show like this. A show that's weekly <laughs> where you want to promote it. <laughs> a podcast or you YouTube You're a lazy bloke that don't want to put the legwork in. That's what you were saying. <laughs> oh, now. Oh, low no. show. oh my God. No, that's what I do with my Adobe Lives. I'm like, okay, it's every week. <laughs> Let's just get this promo off schedule. <laughs> I mean, a scheduled weekly show. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he's cheesy. He's I am. Fine. I'm a I know. tease. <laughs> I know. Thank you for that, Jordan. I really appreciate you giving us a little run through of your tips and tricks and some yeah, new bits. That was really, really helpful. Thank you. I'm just looking at the time. Goodness me. That's again, that's flown by. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot to talk about in here. We didn't even talk about nerd stuff, so you'll have to. I, I know. Yeah, you'll yeah. have to DM me, everyone, if you want to talk about comics, or if anyone's going to Comic Con tomorrow. Tell me. Let's hang out. Oh, and I, I, I would love to be going to that. If I ever make it to way. what's the name? M. MCM. MCM. If I ever make it there, I would love to. Yeah, actually, give me a heads up because I'm off from yeah. MCM. Yeah, 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 that'd yeah. Be cool. yeah. That'd be great. David's being modest because David was one of the star guests at a Comic Con not three weeks ago. So, what? you know, he's been all modest okay. and whatnot. Okay, okay. Him and Phil oh, from you. Harry Potter stars, they were. The <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he, he was just across fun. the table. That's so fun. Yeah, it, it's really good. I love, I love doing Comic Cons. So it's so much fun. Yeah. I, I can't believe I spent so long not doing them. Yeah, I know. It's great. I, same. I, I didn't go as a kid ever. I started like about 10 years ago and changed everything. <laughs> I've yeah. never been to one. I can't take part in this conversation. You should go. I was I was doing the photography show when there was a Comic Con next door, and all of a sudden there were stormtroopers coming through. I was uh -huh. like, what? What's happening? Oh, there's always stormtroopers. Really, yeah. There's always stormtroopers <laughs> and Deadpool's and there's Deadpool's, Spider Man's. Yeah. They're always fun. <laughs> Oliver's yeah, just uh, suggested fun. about the scheduler that we could schedule a post every week to say Tix is on. It was it was Tiggs that I accidentally played when Rufus was was on. I played Tiggs's <laughs> uh, intro. Uh, hey, Oliver says I'm, I'm still disappointed a... he didn't do a good Tiggs impression. <laughs> yeah. uh, Oliver says he's never been to a, a, a Comic Con either, and so he's always wanted to. We should have a we should have a get together, shouldn't we? Oh, hey, and uh, Oliver, they, they are so fun. worth it. Meet Tiggs think... somewhere. <laughs> So I, I, I think that the thing I love about Comic-Con, I think I've said this before, is just everybody's in a good mood because everybody wants to be there. 
Mm-hmm. And so you, you you can pretty much just start up a conversation with somebody and you know they're going to be on like, a, like an instant friend level. Yes. It is so cool. There's so many conversation starters too because you can say like, mm. I like your t-shirt or I like your, you know, outfit because everyone wants to talk about whatever they're wearing. They want to talk about oh, yeah. whatever it, their it, bags it, are or whatever. Yeah. It, it's the only place on earth which I know of which you can just go up to a random stranger and say, can I take a photo of you? And they're like, oh, yeah, please. Of course. Yeah, it's great. It's <laughs> as opposed really to running away and throwing things at you. I'm sorry. I I've actually... done some street photography. That's nothing yeah, new. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have to like turn my brain, like flip a switch afterwards because especially when I'm working a booth there, but even in general, it's just like, mm. yeah, talk to everyone. And then I used to live in New York, so I would go home and I would have the same energy. I'd be walking down the street. And I wanted to be like, I like your shirt. Cool pin. I was like, yes. I can't just like, I mean, I could, I guess, but. <laughs> It's different. <laughs> it's different to just call you could, you gamble, like but you could, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Gareth has just said uh, at the time of recording that uh, there is a Manchester Comic Con in ten days' time. So wow. if anybody, we well, should come over. You got time to arrange that, Jordan? Come over. Come to Manchester Comic Con. Oh, that'd be so fun. Uh, Rufus, that'd I need to go so and do fun. an in-person what's what. I know. That'd be so cool. I Bam. wish. I've Done. never gotten to go international for a week, maybe someday. <laughs> Excellent. Listen, Jordan, it's been an absolute pleasure. If you're watching us on Behance, stick around. We will be back in just a minute with Jordan. But Jordan, thank you very much for joining us this week. It's been an absolute thank pleasure. Thank you. What a joy. Will you come back and see us? Oh, oh also, absolutely. Can, can I just very quickly, before we go off, can I, can I plug uh, Jordan's Sartorial Geek website? You absolutely oh, can. Thank you. Because because it's it's really good. There's loads of good. Um, uh, surprisingly, it may the people it may have been hard to realize, but I'm quite into geeky things <laughs> and kind of sci-fi stuff and films and TV. You, you and so yeah, there's loads of good stuff there. I'm gonna have to nip out a little pause there. You're gonna have to watch that. It's it's good. Surprisingly, no, I've I never knew been. what you meant. <laughs> I knew what you meant. And thank you very much. Yeah, now I'm having a go. Um, I haven't put it on your your links, but there are a couple of links here if you want to go and see oh, Jordan. Oh, thank you. Um, go and talk to Jordan. Tell her what you like and dislike about Adobe Express. She will want to hear it all, I'm sure. But for now, stick around if you're on Behance. For you YouTubers, that's your lot. That's your fill. Uh, Jordan, thank you very much. We'll talk to you again in just a little while. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Did another one in the can. Internet held out. We're all good. Yeah, that was good stuff. That was nice. That was good I, fun. I really enjoyed that. that. That Again, that just shot by that one. That mm. was really nice. And, and I, I had to really learn a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was like, oh yeah, actually, that's yeah. It, it, it got to a point where I was just like thinking, like, oh, that kind of pipe. And my, my my social media posts are going to get much better really soon. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> mine will too. But uh, you know, that's just me giving it a bit more effort, perhaps. Excellent. Uh, I, um, so what what are you up to next week? Have you got anything planned? Anything happening? More work on? I yes, I'm trying to think. I'm, I can't really talk about various things I'm doing because they're all into various states of okay. I, I can't say publicly. Just more scribbling. Um, but, but yes, but yes, the, the, yes, lots of scribbling. Definitely lots of scribbling. Nice, good. Well, stay busy, my friend. I I did the Thank intro, on, uh, the outro on my own last week. I, I'm going to pass it over to you. Oh, okay. Um, in which case, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it means we don't have to sync up anymore. In which case, everybody, uh, we will see you next Tuesday.